school year at Miami University starts without the presence of several fraternities. The national headquarters just pulled the plug on Sigma Chi's chapter at Miami University. It's police cruisers parked in the fraternity's parking lot. Oh, what was happening behind closed doors? The chapter had been on disciplinary probation with the university for hazing and alcohol violations. The school suspended three chapters earlier this year as part of a hazing investigation. Tired of the hazing and the illegal activity taking place. Telling them that the doors here are closing. Banning pledges from showering and telling them to drink 100 beers. Hate-filled messages sprayed on frat houses at Miami University. Engagement in highly inappropriate behavior. Served minors alcohol during a party and distributed inappropriate photos of a student. For what parents will only say are the actions of a few. It's cool in a way, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like, it's not inclusive. They don't want outsiders in. I don't like that. Because I would love to be a part of Greek life, actually. But I feel like it's not like a common theme to have athletes in. And I feel like they should make that more open for athletes. Anyone else is just not your typical fratty guy or girl. I would say it's had a negative impact just because People, other people in like different chapters, they get this like type of social status and like that just made me think a lot more negative in Miami than I would have otherwise. Because there's so many people in sororities and fraternities here and so little that aren't, they kind of stick out. I never really wanted to join the Greek community, but it was more of something like everyone else was doing and like didn't want to be that person that would regret it in the long run. I think that it has a tendency to dominate the culture at first, but I think as I've seen over the years that it becomes a little less and less important. So I think it's just your perspective on it. I think Greek life has a negative reputation on Miami's campus just because of a lot of the stuff that has happened in the past couple of years, but I think a lot of people don't really see all the good that we do. In 1833, the first fraternity to be established at Miami was Alpha Delta Phi. The colonization of Alpha Delta Phi at Miami led to the founding of five Greek organizations at Miami in less than 100 years. Those organizations were Beta Theta Pi in 1839, Phi Delta Theta in 1848, Sigma Chi in 1855, Phi Kappa Tau in 1906, and Delta Zeta in 1902. However, in the past few years, three of the five founding chapters have been suspended from Miami's campus for various reasons. Beta Theta Pi was suspended in the spring of 2014, Phi Tau was suspended in the fall of 2013, and Sigma Chi was suspended in the fall of 2012. The closing of Beta represented the ninth time a Greek organization on campus had been suspended or closed since 2009. The original chapter of one of the oldest international fraternities will close over hazing allegations and alcohol violations. Beta Theta Pi was founded at Miami University in 1839. A hearing at the university last week focused on the hazing investigation. It's still not clear what members are accused of doing, but today the fraternity's national organization made the decision to suspend its Alpha chapter and its 112 undergraduates until at least the 2016-2017 school year. These incidents, though, have completely overshadowed the community service and philanthropy events that other Greek organizations at Miami have done for their community. A few icons located around campus, such as the Sundial, Fidelt Gates, and the Kappa Seal, which were donated by a few of Miami's Greek organizations, represent their current and continual significant presence on campus and in the community. The community service aspect is a good part of the Greek community because you do see a lot of negatives in the news and stuff and so it's nice to be a little more grounded by doing philanthropy events and giving back to those around you. Um, I think it's had a very positive impact. Um, I've really grown as a leader in my chapter and I don't know 
if I would have done that in another organization on campus just because I feel very like supported by all my friends in there. Some, like Sigma Phi Epsilon, continue to attempt to reestablish themselves and earn respect from the university and the community. So, um, the two biggest things that I plan to um, implement into our chapter, um, ultimately just putting everybody, putting everybody to a higher standard and making sure we're accountable for our actions. So basically like moving forward, um, we've already had a few instances here this semester that have kind of gone down. Um, granted, they were kind of minor, but they were, they were like handled in our chapter and um, these guys were punished appropriately and that effect has already started to resonate throughout our chapter. Um, and granted, it's just like small stuff like individual behavior, but it really does go a long way. Despite the controversy in the media regarding many Greek organizations at Miami, future members of the Greek community are looking forward to the experiences they will have and share with others. I think that it's a good way to get to know a lot of different people on campus and it's a good way to get involved and um, I don't know, it just seems like a very uh, communal thing that I'd like to be part of. I want to meet a ton of new people and really get a sense of community for what Miami is. I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but I think like all of my favorite memories from college, um, a lot of them have to do with my friends and my sorority and events that we've done together. I think it's a rewarding experience. Um, met a lot of great people and it's a good sense of community. I think that I've only been a part of Greek life for not even two semesters yet, um, but I don't, regret, I don't regret my decision um, whatsoever. Um, it's pretty, pretty cliche, but I've met a lot of great people, um, and I look forward to meeting more, you know, in the near future here. So, um, go Greek.